Welcome everybody. Today I'd like to do a quick uh, five minute distribution preview of Linux Mint 15, codename Olivia. So some of the new features that are coming to Linux Mint in this version is an update to the uh, login screen. You can now use HTML5, uh, GTK, and I think LightDM uh, are pre-installed so you can customize that to your desire. In fact, let me show you how that works right now. Sorry if my key typing is loud, my microphone's right next to the keyboard. So I have it set up as GTK. You can um, go in and set up a GDM. Um, these look okay, I guess. Wasn't a big fan. You could even go into HTML5 where there's some uh, JavaScript uh, animation going on on these. Now, I can't actually show it to you without logging out, so let's move on. Uh, some of the other new features um, the uh, s system settings now comes with uh, two modes. The uh, the normal mode, which is uh, what you'll see when you are, are on a, a new installation, and the advanced mode, which will give you uh, extra features to look into. Now, um, so on themes, you can go in and change through different settings, uh, both uh, GNOME style settings as well as uh, Cinnamon settings. So, for instance, if I go and click over onto uh, Linux Mint here, then it, you should have noticed a change in the uh, pattern uh, panel theming. Now, the uh, they've gone through and improved their version of uh, Nautilus, which is Nemo. They forked that a while back when um, they um, the GNOME project got rid of this top menu that everyone loves to use. So um, as you can see there's still plenty of nice little menu options and I'm sure if you uh, wanted to you can probably uh, hide these. Now one of my favorite improvements uh, to this version is uh, that you can go in and check your mirror speeds. So right as you uh, click into here, the um, select a mirror it will tell you which is the fastest mirror. Now where I'm at here in the United States uh, the linuxmint.com mirror tends to be one of the faster ones. As you can see a lot of the international locations are coming in as red. PPAs can be managed here, additional repositories and uh, that's pretty much some of the coolest settings. Now um, you can see I'm actually clicking through with my keyboard to manage my workspaces. So you can hit uh, shift uh, the plus key or in my case shift uh, equals which ends up being a plus. Go in and click these off. Or of course you can click it on that way. One of the things I'm not a big fan of, of course, is, whoops, sorry, you can actually move windows around by hitting uh, super key left, right, up, just like that. And then um, to control um, the spaces, if you want to call it that, control alt will handle that by hitting down, control alt hitting up control alt left right with control alt being held down so all the different uh, desktop management scenarios can be handled through here there is a little bit of a glitch here with the trash can you can see it just looks like a gel cell right now probably scaled incorrectly but uh, that's probably a simple fix for an, um, a later update You know, it just occurred to me, I forgot to show around, uh, show you guys around on the panel. So before I check out, uh, let's take a quick look at some of the software. I'm just going to scroll through the applications, give you an idea. There's no games pre-installed. Basically a bunch of uh, GNOME applications. I added um, FFmpeg in order to do this video. 
and of course there's the uh, the panel you could actually customize the panel so uh, I had Banshee open earlier and um, you go in here into settings and you could actually add and take away applets if you want so you'll notice that I put in a, a brightness applet that wasn't there so that I can control my brightness without hitting the function keys if I'm you know leaning back and don't want to hunch over the keyboard different items this is the uh, cinnamon menu so you can see which uh, windows and applications are running on which workspace I think that's really useful as well as the uh, mint uh, menu frankly I think I l still like the mate menu uh, the Linux mint mate menu a little bit better simply because there's just more information available used to be that you could uh, do uh, Wikipedia searches and stuff like that in here, but you, they still haven't brought that kind of functionality over to um, to Cinnamon just yet. Anyway, um, let's take a quick look at some of the other settings here. So each one of these applets have different uh, settings. You could, of course, get more online. They're trying to get people to contribute. There's uh, desktop app applets as well, but um, they're not terribly exciting. Yeah, just a clock. It's the kind of thing that um, you would uh, get in um, KDE, and of course KDE is doing a little bit better. So. Not sure how this launcher. Oh, I see. Interesting. Um. <laughs> well, okay. So you can create yourself your own little custom panel of icons. Oh, this is cool. They even will can go over existing icons. It's kind of a neat way to. Uh, mock up a, a, a dock type system. Huh. I actually really like that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy.